Aside from our previous video, there's still some information you need to know about rabbit training tricks. If you happen to own a rabbit, you probably know that they are much smarter than people think. They are capable of learning quite a few things and can learn to recognize both verbal and hand cues. Rabbit owners know their bunnies recognize not only their voice but the sound of the food bin being opened. Using positive reinforcement training, it's easy to train a bunny rabbit to do all kinds of tricks. This type of training uses a marker, usually a clicker or a one-syllable word, to mark when your rabbit does what you want. Then, that marker is followed by a reward, usually food but really anything your rabbit likes. Sit. Rabbits can learn sit just like your dog can. It's a fairly easy trick, so a good one to start with. Most rabbits will probably just offer a sit, so you can capture it by marking it when your rabbit does it and then rewarding them. If that doesn't work, you can also try luring them into a sit by putting a treat near their nose and then slowly drawing your hand back. As they follow the treat, their rump will naturally have to go down into a sit. Mark and reward. Stay. Once your rabbit knows sit, you can also teach them to stay. This is a useful trick, as you can use it when you need to open your rabbit's pen but don't want them to hop out. If you have trained a dog to stay using positive reinforcement, you can use the same techniques here. Ask your rabbit to sit, and then, instead of marking right away, delay your mark for a second or two, then mark and reward. The key here is to build up duration slowly. If they break their stay, it's okay. Just get them back to where they were and start over, marking at a shorter interval this time. Sit pretty. There is nothing cuter than a rabbit sitting up or sitting pretty. It's actually a natural position for them and one they do when they hear or see something that catches their attention. It's a great trick to teach for photo ops or just for fun. Like sit, you can wait until your rabbit offers this fun trick and then mark and reward. This time, put the treat near your rabbit's nose and slowly lift your hand up and back just a bit so they sit on their rump, otherwise, they will be standing on their legs, which is not a stable position for them. Mark as soon as the rump is down and the front legs are up. Mat. The mat trick teaches your rabbit to go to a blanket or grass mat and stay there until released. It's a bit more of a complicated trick but can be useful if you need your rabbit to get into a safe area quickly or to stay out of the way while you are cleaning their area. To start mat training, you are going to shape, mark and reward in small steps, any movement your rabbit takes to his mat. It should be the same mat every time, to begin with, and the mat should be fairly close, just a few steps. Each time, up the criteria. So, if the first time your rabbit takes two steps toward the mat, see if the second time you can get two steps. Then, see if you can delay your mark until your rabbit has put a foot on the mat. When you reward for this behavior, toss the treat a bit away from the mat so your bunny comes of it, and you can reset for the next step. Continuing shaping until your rabbit is going right on the mat with all four feet. Then, you can start adding in a stay with the tips from previous tricks. Pedestal The pedestal is a fun trick that many rabbits like because it puts them up high a bit. You can use anything for your pedestal, a small box, an overturned bowl, etc. Just be sure that it's not so high as to pose a risk if your rabbit leaps off, that it's big enough for your rabbit to fit comfortably on it and that it won't move around when your rabbit is trying to jump on it. Bunny High Five Even more adorable than the rollover is teaching your bunny to high five, with one paw, or high ten with both paws. With your rabbit in front of you, hold your hand flat out with your palm up and use a treat in your other hand to lure your rabbit forward. When your rabbit has walked forward so that his paw is now on your hand, reward him with a treat and click. Once your bunny is doing this reliably, start by slowing raising your hand up, about a one half to one quarter of an inch up depending on how big your bunny is, smaller increments for smaller bunnies. Repeat the process but this time your rabbit will have to reach his paw up to get onto your palm and he may also start having to sit up a bit. Reward him when he puts his paw on your hand and marks the behavior. Once he is doing this reliably, you will want to turn your hand so that your fingers are pointing up and your palm is facing your rabbit like the traditional high-five stances. You may have to do this change in slow increments, so you may start with flipping your hand over so it's still flat but with palm down and get your rabbit to touch it in this stance, then slowly angle your hand so your fingers are pointing diagonally up, and so on until you are finally in the correct position. Remember, take your time and be patient. Put your palm right in front of your rabbit's face and lure him to it with a treat. Reward and mark the behavior when your rabbit touches his paw to your hand like a high five. Repeat the entire process with your other hand and your rabbit's other paw. Once he is doing a high five with either paw, you can hold up both hands to encourage him to give you a double high five. You can also try alternating and doing a left paw high five, then right paw high five and go back and forth. Bunny Agility 
For a really fun trick that's also terrific exercise, try teaching your bunny some rabbit agility. Just like a dog agility course, bunnies can learn how to jump over and go through obstacles. In fact, there are even competitions internationally for rabbits to do agility courses and rabbit hopping. If you want to make some small jumps for your bunny, you can do it with some PVC following dog agility equipment plans. You can also buy small size agility equipment made specifically for smaller animals. You can also just use simple around the house items to make jumps or even your arm or leg. Once your bunny learns to jump on command, your obstacles can vary. You can teach him to jump by luring him with a treat over the obstacle but another easy way to do this is to use a target stick. You can purchase a target stick at any pet store or just make your own using a dowel, wooden ruler, or any similar thin, long item. Hold the tip of the target stick out in front of your bunny and use a treat to lure his nose to touch the end of it. Mark and treat him when he does. Repeat this process and eventually remove the lure and just hold the stick out. Mark and reward when your bunny touches the tip with his nose on his own. You can also add in a word if you like such as touch. Now start to move the stick around a few inches and see if your bunny follows it. Mark and reward when he does and touches the tip with his nose. If he doesn't, or he seems confused, it just means you're going too fast so move it in much smaller increments. Once you can work up to your bunny reliably following the stick, you can then use it to target train him to jump. Lay on the floor with your legs out in front of you. With your bunny on one side of your legs, hold the target stick out and move it from just in front of your bunny's face to cover your legs. Reward and mark when he jumps over your legs to touch the target stick. You can add in a word like jump. Or over. At this point. Repeat this process and then slowly move one leg up about one quarter to half inch up and repeat. You can eventually work up to doing this with your leg higher in the air. Try also switching it out to have your bunny jump over one foot while you're standing, or over an outstretched arm, or make a physical jump. You can also use the target stick to train in to go through obstacles, such as a small cat tunnel. Have the tunnel mostly closed and lure him through with the target stick. Once he is going through the ring reliably start expanding the size and repeat the process until eventually you can have the tunnel fully extended. You can pair in a word like tunnel. Once he understands what you want from him. Once you start teaching your rabbit tricks, you'll probably catch the training bug when you realize how much fun it is and how smart rabbits are. It's also a wonderful way to bond with your rabbit and develop a stronger relationship. Be creative and have fun. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.